Hey y'all, I'm back with another recreation video and today I'm gonna be recreating this crazy, crazy nail design from Carla Did It and this is the nails. Yes, y'all see these butterfly nails? <laughs> I was like, whoa, when I seen these. There was a competition going on, um, I guess, what to say, back in March. Yeah, these girls were doing like crazy butterfly nails and uh, this is the one that I wanna attempt to recreate. Wish me luck. All right, so I'll need to find an acrylic that I wanna use that closely matches this nice little pink color. This portion of the video is sponsored by McCart. They sent over a few of their new cover acrylics. So I'm gonna try these out and see if any of these will work out. So these are the colors that they sent over. Let's do some quick swatches. Pour me out some monomer. So McCart doesn't have their own monomer yet, but they did say that these powders are universal and work with any of the EMA monomers. All right, so the first color we got here is called Giselle. Oh, we always love when it comes with a seal. I just wanna see what the colors look like. Oh, that's pretty. So they do say that this formula is slightly sheer I was a little nervous when I heard that. I was like, oh, I hope it's not too sheer. <laughs> it's sheer enough to where you can blend everything. Like, look how those beads are kind of just blending into one another. Ooh, okay. So, oh, got a little air bubble in there, but that is Giselle. The next color we have here is Lux. Ooh, I like this color. This would be perfect for some fall nails. And that is Lux. The next color we have is Gimme Nude. Just from doing the swatches, they really are very smooth. But the nail design that I'm about to do would be the ultimate challenge, right? And that is Gimme Nude. And the last color I have to try out is Darling Pink. Ooh, this one might be it. I think this one may be the closest one. And we have Darling Pink. So these are the colors side by side. And yeah, let me double check. But I think this one, this pink is the closest. So that is the one we're gonna use. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, y'all. <laughs> I was analyzing this picture and I think she sculpted this. Like, or maybe they're nail tips, I don't know. Do I even have any nail tips this long? Questions, questions. All right, y'all, so I've been studying this picture for a long time and I've come to the conclusion that I am gonna sculpt, but it looks like she may have used tips because when I go through her profile, like she uses tips, but uh, I ain't got none of these extendo nail tips. Like, I don't, I don't be doing all that. We're gonna have to sculpt these. And I'm bringing out my Mia Secret competition nail forms. These nail forms are super long and they are for the craziest of the crazy nail designs, which is perfect for this one. I'm just going to like scope them all long square and then we'll tackle the butterfly wings later. So yeah, I'm trying to keep them, I'm not pinching too much cause I want all of this to stay, you know, straight so where I can get the crispest square that I can get. Yeah. <laughs> These are long. All right, so I'm trying to see how how long do I need to make these? I think I need to make them pretty long. So yeah, I'm trying to get like a good perspective. Okay, so we're going down to like a nine. Oh my God, these are gonna be crazy. All right, let's go. Because these nails are going to be long, I don't plan on keeping them on too long depending on how cute they turn out. But because they're long, I don't want them to break and pop off. So we're gonna use dehydrator and primer. So first I'm applying the dehydrator. And y'all know the spiel. This gets rid of all the oils and stuff on your nails. And then I'm gonna go in with primer. And we're just gonna apply this to the nail. Yeah, these nails are gonna be so long. Like I don't want them to lift or pop off, I'm gonna have to file them. So they gonna have to be a little sturdy. I'm using a big brush as well. This one is a size 14. I normally don't uh, use brushes this big, but this nail design will take all day if I try to use an eight. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna just form this. Oh, 
Ooh, okay. As y'all can see, I'm not, <laughs> I am not that confident with a larger brush. I don't see how y'all, them nail techs be doing it. But yeah, I just wanna make sure that we're keeping it square. I need these square, so they gonna look wide. That's why I don't typically do square nails on myself because I don't know, it may just be me, but the square nails be looking wide to me on my hand. I'm gonna hold this on the brush for a little bit. I noticed that like, as good as everybody thinks I am, <laughs> I can't work with a too big of a bead cause it just, it goes everywhere. Ooh, but that one's nice. But as y'all can see, this acrylic is like butter. This is what makes doing nails so easy is when you have the right tools because all acrylic is not the same. <laughs> it is not the same. That is why they all cost different. You definitely get what you pay for. Just wanna make sure it's not too wet. Ooh. -hoo. And one thing I love and what I judge if an acrylic is good or not is if when you put down multiple beads, if you can tell the difference and you and if you can't, that's how you know you have some good stuff. So a person like me, I don't do like a one or two or three ball method. I do probably like a 10 ball method, <laughs> but that's the thing. I want to be able to put down as many beads of acrylic and you not be able to tell where one bead started and where one bead finishes. Like I want it to all look like a smooth application. how long this is y'all. I need y'all to understand. So I'm just gonna perfect this and get all these nails on, okay? All right, so I am still at it. <laughs> and so I'm just checking in with y'all and letting y'all see how long these nails are and how long this process is. This is a doozy. Ooh, these nails are so long, y'all. My biggest challenge here is trying to keep the shape because on the sides it it gets a it gets a little wobbly. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just trying to keep everything, you know, within the shape. But yeah, as y'all can see, it's a <laughs> gets a little wobbly. All right, I did it. <laughs> All of the acrylic is laid. Oh my god. These look crazy. All right, so we gotta do some filing. But first, let me go ahead and take off these nail forms very carefully because they're long. Ooh, child. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> this is heavy. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I get so nervous. I think because in my earlier days of doing nails, well, doing my nails, I don't do other people's nails, y'all, so I'm sorry, I don't. <laughs> but in my early days, when I would pull off the nail forms, like sometimes the nails would be like not structured properly, and so they would just snap off, and it would be like heartbreaking. <laughs> so that's why I'm always like, oh, let's just be careful taking these off. All right, and for my thumb, it's not technically part of the nail design, but I didn't want it to just be bare, so I just did a little short square. All right, let's throw these out. And we are gonna use a new nail file for this. Okay, so yeah, when you're pulling out a new one, you wanna make sure to file the edges of it. We don't wanna cut ourselves, so this is important. Ooh, see, this is normal. And then, <laughs> Yes, this is gonna take a long time. And we gonna need this nail dust collector. <laughs> so yeah, the hand file was just not cutting it. And so I had to bust out my sanding band and uh, we getting to work. Thank you. 
day two and we are all filed, shaped, and buffed. Whew, when I tell y'all, these are the longest nails that I've ever filed and shaped, and it was a workout. All right, so, ow. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready to like get these nails done so I can take them off because the last 24 hours have been a challenge, okay? All right, so next we gotta go in with the butterfly wings. So this is the look that we're trying to replicate. I'm glad I did take a break because I had to think like, how am I gonna do this? All right, so I got my son's iPad. Oh, and I don't know how to use this thing, hold up. <laughs> okay. So I got hubby to put the picture on the iPad so I can look at it big like. And I wanna do it to scale. What I'm gonna do is I got a little piece of paper here and hopefully, okay, y'all can't see, but I can see it. Oh, I wish it was a little brighter. I'm gonna take my cute little Sailor Moon pen. <laughs> I am gonna trace on the paper here. I am so sorry y'all, but y'all really cannot see. Oh, don't go away, don't go away. Oh, can I, oh. See, I told y'all I do not know how to use these things. I am a Samsung user. <laughs> it's the screen brightness all the way up. Oh, how do I get back to the pictures? Okay, I did it. <laughs> I'm so slow. Yeah, I don't do Apple products. Okay, I'm about to do something drastic here. <laughs> I had to cut the studio lights off just so I can see, so we can trace this. We are gonna do the pinky. Need Just to have the shape. All right. I think we got it. Okay, so this is what I need to replicate. What I'm gonna do is just forcefully make my outline on this form paper and then I should be able to just form it like that. And I'm gonna do these in two separate pieces. So it's gonna be the bottom of the wing and then the top. Something like that, I guess. Okay, so as y'all can see, that little indent, this is the butterfly wing that we're gonna do. This is like 3D, but on a whole nother level. I'm doing some real like statue sculpturing here. I <laughs> want to make sure I'm getting the shape and then I can worry about the thickness later. And of course we don't, you know, we want to keep this edge as crisp as possible, so. That's what we're gonna do. All right, it's starting to look like a butterfly wing to me. Now I'm just going to build up the thickness a little bit. I was a little nervous about doing this because I didn't know how I was gonna pull this off, but putting the image on a larger screen and tracing really did help. <laughs> Because I was like, I was looking for butterfly molds. I was doing everything. And I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. But it actually works, y'all. So, oh my God, big kudos to Carla. Girl, you did do this, okay? You deserve to win. It was like a nail competition and she had won. And I was like, rightfully so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was definitely uh, other creations that were, you know, a part of it and they were beautiful as well. But Carla definitely knocked it out the park with this one. I've never seen butterfly nails done like this and it was just really pretty. What I liked most about her design is that the butterfly wings didn't have like the uh, holes in it. I don't know, <laughs> what's the technical term? But you know, like all the lines and designs in them. Hers didn't have that. Hers is just like a full butterfly wing. And that's what I really, really liked. Hopefully I could do her design a little bit of justice. Oh my God, is this really turning out to be something? Shut the front door. You know, as much as I try to recreate, you know, it always turns into like an inspiration. Um, I mean, that's that's one thing about art. Unless you're like one of those counterfeiters or something, you're not gonna be able to like reproduce somebody's art 100%. 
but I think this is actually gonna do. So now I need to do the reverse. All right, and we're just gonna flip this over and do our indents on this one. All right, so as you can see, now we have it on the other side. Go ahead and place it in here. My son just got home from school, so he's a little disgruntled. Hi, MJ. How was school? And we're just gonna work this like so. Look at y'all coming in here being nosy. It's cute. <laughs> I was just telling them how you saved the day by putting that picture on the iPad for me. Oh, you know. I do what I can when I can do it. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, so these are the butterfly pieces. Okay. So yeah, it's gonna be something like this. You know what? It does kind of overlap a bit. Perfect, that means I can just actually glue these on. So where's my glue? So we're just gonna put some glue right here. I'm gonna place it right here. This is just so it can I can hold it in place. Yes, I love seeing progress. Ooh, these nails were already heavy, but they're getting even heavier. All right, and place this right here. All right, this is actually starting to look like something. Okay, one butterfly down. So as y'all see, in her design, everything is just smooth. It looks like it's one piece. So that's the look we're going for. Oh yeah. I'm trying to do everything really smooth as well. Like you don't want any harsh transitions. Yay. This is turning out really cute. <laughs> yeah, it's like, just cause I be doing these crazy nail designs, people expect me to like wear them in real life. And it's like, no. <laughs> this is for entertainment only. And I think I'm gonna get my e-filing, go up and make everything a little crisper. Wanna make this just a tad bit thicker. Wow. I. I've done some crazy nail designs in my day. <laughs> Sound all right, in my day. But this has got to be probably the most craziest, the most intense nail design that I've ever done. No, this is actually fun though. Cause of course you don't ever get to do stuff like this in real life, so. It's cool to be able to do it. But yeah, y'all can see better now that, you know, this side's a little thin making it not look so janky. My thing is I don't want to, you know, spread it too thin. Like I want it to be, ooh. <laughs> All right, I'm working a little too wet. I gotta change my monomer out, it's getting dirty. I can't believe I actually pulled that off. Okay, I'm not really liking this transition right here, so I'm just gonna do one other bead at the cuticle. See if we can make this transition a little better. Perfect. First butterfly is down. All right, so these should be dry. <laughs> My pinky is so heavy. <laughs> now we gotta do something like this. Oh, this is so hard doing it with one hand. I may need to do it like this because I can't, since I'm doing this on myself, I can't do it right. I'm confusing myself, okay. <laughs> All right, so this goes something like this. Go ahead and glue the edge of this. I think it is so cool how acrylic just kind of blends into itself and you don't even know. Like once everything is sealed up, like you don't even know the trouble that was gone into by making these sculpture pieces. It just looks like it's all one piece. So I wanna know, are y'all gonna try this nail design? <laughs> if you do, I wanna see. I wanna see it because, whoo, this one was a doozy. 
I cannot like convey to you guys how heavy this is. You, like you know that feeling when you wear like really heavy earrings. This is, this is what it feels like. These wings are pretty thin. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and add some more, some more umph to them. My children ain't gonna know what to do when they see these nails. They're gonna be looking at me like, mama, what is wrong with you? Okay, so now it is just the details of it all. All right, so as this was drying, I was like, ooh, I gotta like make the transition. Where the picture at? <laughs> I keep, keep closing my phone. Yeah, as y'all can see, this like smooth transition. I forgot about that, so we gotta do that. I think it's probably best if I do it this way. So yeah, I just need to make this transition look a little more seamless. Okay, and do the same thing over here. All right, so now we're just gonna let that dry. All right, so this is what I have so far. Okay, so we need to file and kind of smooth everything out. See if we can like smooth it out. My main thing is just smoothing it in with a nail. These kind of hurt. <laughs> I'm trying to hold them as I'm filing, but they're so long, and so when you file them, your finger, your nail bed is just kind of moving. These are not practical at all. And last, we're gonna go in with the buffer. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with some drill bits and try to get the shape of the butterflies to just be a little more crisp. Oh yeah. Okay, so y'all can see I'm just I'm just trying to open this up right here. Yay. <laughs> All right. And we're gonna clean this up. Okay, so that is what I wanted to do. All right, so we're gonna take some alcohol and wipe the dust off of the butterflies. All right, so this is what I have. And now we have to embellish the butterflies and the nails. So I don't have exactly everything that was used, but I'm gonna do what I do with what I got. We're going in with the McCart rhinestone glue, my new boo. <laughs> and I'm gonna first do the outline of the butterfly. Because these nails are uh, matte, I'm gonna start off with like this part first, and then we'll finish off with the matte. Trying to keep it a little neat. I don't want like the stringy gel everywhere. I don't know. We're just gonna do what we do, okay? <laughs> and we're just gonna take our time and place these. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> All right, I'm almost finished, but I ran out of my scoop of crystals, so I have to scoop some more out. This is making me feel better already. These recreation videos, y'all, they be draining me. <laughs> they be draining. This is so much. Like, I really hope that y'all enjoy these because this is a labor of love, okay? <laughs> this was a very creative design. Like, I wish I was this creative. <laughs> All right. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Cute. That is looking so good, y'all. <laughs> All right, so now I need to put the crystals on the tip here. All right. Just trying to keep the rhinestone glue where I'm putting them. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and place these. Ooh. All right, that's what we got so far. 
Wow. So like I said before, I don't have everything that she had in the picture, so we're gonna improvise. And I don't know where or what I did with my um, caviar beads. So instead of like the little silver caviar beads, I'm gonna have to use even smaller crystals. And then there was some pearls. So I got these Swarovski pearls. Maybe I should have opened these up before I put these nails on. So I'm gonna put a dollop right there. Oh, come on. Okay. We're gonna go in with the pink crystals. Cute. Yeah, I'm gonna use the tiny, tiny crystals as caviar beads. I don't know where I put that little case that I had, but the whole purpose of my recreating is uh, to use what I already have and to not like go out and buy anything else because I got too much stuff as it is. So we're using these tiny crystals. I'm glad that this is working out with the rhinestone glue because I thought that, cause if y'all know how I normally put crystals on, I normally don't do matte nails. So I go in with the rhinestone glue and then my glossy gel top coat. But since this look is matte, I had to kind of rethink how I was gonna do it. I still want the crystals to last. So the matte top coat is not enough on its own to hold crystals still. I'm glad that I do have this rhinestone glue that kind of just, you can put it where you need to and keep the rest of the, of the nails matte. I'm telling you y'all, I was really stressing on <laughs> how I was gonna pull this off. Cause I, when I saw them nails, I was like, whoa, that is an artist, okay? I'm good at nails, but I ain't that good. <laughs> So I was really nervous. I felt like a engineer of some sorts. So I had to kind of really break down like, okay, how do, how am I gonna build this? How I'm gonna build these nails? Because this is like a skyscraper in the nail world. I keep shaking y'all, but that's because <laughs> these wings are so heavy. I be trying to handle business while I'm working and we are signing Maya up for preschool and uh, I forgot a digit of the credit card number. And so they're like, hey, can you refill this out? Luckily, hubby took care of it, but now she's enrolled. Yay. <laughs> okay. This is looking so much better. All right, so why do I keep fold my phone up? Gosh, <laughs> I ain't working. All right, so now we just got pearls and all that jazz. I'm not gonna bore y'all with that. I'm gonna come back when I'm done. All right, so we got all of the circle crystals done. And now we're gonna go in with the pearls. All right, so this is what I got so far. Well, this is it. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with my matte top coat. Okay, but let's give y'all a little idea of what it will look like if I kept it glossy. Cause they're already matte, but this is just gonna make sure that it's like uniformly matte. Kudos to the girls who be wearing those extendos cause uh, I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Luckily I have people at home that can help me. If I was single, I don't know how I will do it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure these. I've been like gently placing my hand in the nail lamp because it's so like, it's so much going on y'all. All right y'all, this is the final look. Oh my God, this is so blingy. I'm just gonna fly away. <laughs> so how do y'all think I did? You know, it's slight differences, but I did that. And so did Carla. Hi MJ, what you think of mommy's nails? You like the butterfly? Cool boy. Yeah, butterfly. You think it's pretty? Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. I got something to show you. Oh, uh, what you got? <laughs> you like my nails? Ah! Ooh. Let me let me put them in a in a butterfly stance for you. That's crazy. Oh, that looks good. You know, a little sound sound. Oh, you did real dick. <laughs> This is all blingy. Husband approved. It's a good video. <laughs> <laughs> 
so I thought it'd be kind of cool to show y'all like life with these nails <laughs> and uh, it's been pretty difficult so I'm just gonna show clips of how I'm actually doing stuff throughout the day so the first task is putting my hair in a ponytail and as simple as this should have been it was really difficult to do with these long nails plus the butterfly wings I kept hitting the wings and it really hurt <laughs> not to mention these nails were so long that I had to kind of like I don't know use my middle finger and my thumb instead of my index finger like I normally do and just getting my hair looped through the ponytail holder was just so difficult so and this took way longer than it was supposed to okay but we did it that was hard <laughs> next is putting on my shoes so um I didn't realize how difficult this was going to be. I felt like a four-year-old just learning how to tie her shoes. Um, I had to go very, very slow, but surprisingly, I was able to do it. So, yay, I can tie my shoes. So next it was watching TV and it was really hard to press the buttons on my remote. I'm binge watching Catfish, like I am so hooked right now. But yeah, it's it's kind of difficult to handle this. All right, you ready to get changed? And next we have diaper changing. I change a lot of diapers a day. My daughter and my son is in pull-ups, so I'm just constantly changing diapers. And this was very difficult <laughs> as well. Bye. As y'all can see, I'm struggling with this tab here. <laughs> this is hard. Oh. Ow. Thank you. Thank you. And these snaps were not fun at all. These nails are so big, they're getting in the way. All right, there. Love you. Love you. Trying to do the YouTuber transition. Say bye. Bye. Wow, I just, I can't get over how extra these nails are. So if you enjoy watching me doing crazy recreations like this, check out another video right here. And I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.